Hey guys, it's Phantom Success Center here back again with another Phantom Success Center video. And of course, I have my data off and it's like 3.41 in the morning. I slept because I was also on call with someone and then when I realized they left, I was like, oh my god, I slept with no one in the call. <laughs> they probably had to go and yada yada. I have my TV on for a little bit of light because my lamp is not in here, sadly, and stuff. And plus, I don't want to make any noise to wake anyone up. I have my coffee here. Take a sip of this coffee. I just like stole a little bit of coffee that was already made from the kitchen. But this is a part two of the Chucky Exocenter. I actually got a lot of comments asking for a part two, surprisingly. I thought that I was going to get a lot of hate on that video, but thank you so much for the people who asked for a part two. <laughs> Plus, if I keep sniffling, I'm so sorry. I have allergies at the moment. Like, I woke up sneezing. Literally woke up sneezing. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. My Instagram, Discord, Link server, um, SoundCloud, and the songs that I use. I forgot. I forgot nothing. <laughs> well, I'll be in the description below. I think when I have allergies, my allergies make me silly and it makes me forgetful. But I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the video. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to ignore Andy in the photo. I think that's Andy because that's supposedly to be you and i couldn't get the right pen to trace over it and make it yn aka listener but just ignore it you don't know andy just yet but you do do chucky um tracing back to in my memory um chucky cuddled up to you and you two fell asleep together and i know i moved pretty quick but you you know how it is the next morning, you felt something cuddling up to you, like you had something underneath your chin. You woke up and slowly moved away to see Chucky cuddling up next to you. You smiled and thought to yourself, Wow, he isn't just a heartless serial killer after all. You smiled and took a look at the time. Yawn, stretched, etc. You gave Fluffball some food, of course. Fluffball is forever going to exist in each and every single universe you are in. They are not gonna get left out. Take a sip of this coffee. You got ready for school, and of course, you thought Chucky was asleep and everything, and that he was going to do his dolly duties. I'm gonna say it like that his serial killer humanly duties. But what you didn't know is that he was in your back. You showed up to school and your best friend ran up to you and said, Listener, 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 did you hear the news? She looked worried but happy at the same time. You tilted your head and said, Whoa, 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 calm down. Um, BN would be like best friend's name, BN. What happened? Okay, so I've heard rumors that. Okay, um, Ian, cut, 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 I heard rumors that Ian, which Ian, I made up yesterday or a few days ago, that Ian means enemy's name, and shout out to the person who ever said, um, listener pulled an Ayano Aishi on their, their enemies, Ian and her best friends didn't show up today. Wait, really? Your eyes widened like you didn't know what you did. Like you just completely forgot. Yeah, like this is the first time she's absent. Well, they're absent. That's so weird. Do you think she went on one of those rich field trips again with her family? Maybe. Who knows? But she usually leaves a little voicemail or a note for the teacher. But you know what? Bestie, we're free for a day. No bullying, no nothing. Your your best friend hugged you. Chucky was awake in your bag and he chuckled to himself. You didn't hear him, of course. 
classes went by yada 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 and you actually had therapy class or you needed to see the guidance counselor aka the the therapist but let's say the school had a specific therapist for you because you had an abusive past and that you didn't live with your parents anymore and you were young to be living alone so you get in there and tn would be teacher's name um so you shut the door and say good afternoon tn good afternoon listener so this is our second class you nod and we're here to talk about your parents chucky was half asleep but then he immediately woke up because he wanted to know about your parents he wanted to know what happened and if they were still around so tell me what happened when you were a child or a few years ago because technically you were just a child just a few years ago two let's say because what are you only okay i'm sorry i know this would be a minor age please forgive me um 16 17 and chucky's like what 30 something if you take a look at his age like before he possessed the doll i don't know i'm really sorry i'll um leave an apology in the description i'm really sorry anyways uh, you started to talk about your parents and you said well um my father was sort of an abusive dad and my mom she would always get stressed and she would let her stress on wine drinks and they would always fight and yada yada then my mom and dad divorced and then we have my stepmom who never really liked me and by the way this is all made up this is not part of my life because if i put part of my life i would have been i'm kidding my stepmom never really liked me and she was mean to both me and my if you have siblings then both me and my siblings or if you don't have siblings then just both me myself and i and she always seemed like she hated me for some reason she would always tell my dad that i tripped and fell when she was the one that did things to me and stuff and my dad just would believe her off the bat and never ask me if if she was telling the truth so after i turned 16 i headed out got my driver's license and i headed out you started to tear up and covered your face chucky actually felt guilt like he felt bad for the first time in his life hearing an actual kid say that because technically 16 here in brazil as a kid felt heartbreaking um your therapist tn she went over and passed you some tissues you wiped your tears and you two kept on talking about your family chucky's anger grew more and he felt raged he thought to himself oh hell no this this is unacceptable if one person on the whole entire earth core should die is this dude sorry that i didn't do his voice it's just that i didn't take a sip of my coffee and my voice sounds entirely dry i have no idea what i just said after you had your therapy class you headed home as you open your bag what do you see chucky because you place your bag on a passenger seat and you stopped at a gas station to get something to drink you open it to get like a straw or something like that or write down your feelings and who do you see so chucky put his hands up and said ah crap heidi ho you almost banged your head on the the, the wheel <laughs> on the wheel 
but you didn't. You controlled your feelings and face palmed and said, Chucky, what are you doing in my back? Uh, hey, get along. <sighs> Look, I came in your bag just because I wanted to see what was going on and what they were going to think about the, you know, whole entire murder thing. I'm glad they didn't think anyone killed anyone and stuff like that and that they thought they just went on a damn field trip but um I heard your entire therapy thingy your eyes widened and looked down you said and what did you think about it now you basically know my whole entire childhood um, Chucky's tone got a little aggressive and a little loud, and he said, That was no fucking childhood, in my opinion. That was torture, physical and mental. Your mother shouldn't have left you like that and took your siblings away from you. You didn't deserve that. If one person deserves to die on this earth, besides Satan himself... Or me, because, you know, I'm a serial killer inside a doll's body. It should be your father. And that stupid stepmom of yours. Those two aren't souls. Look, I may be a heartless serial killer sometimes. But I'm not that ruthless. I would never do that to my child if I had one. I give them the love they deserve. He shouldn't have bargained for that. Now, kid. Chucky hopped out of your bag and went on over to your lap. Which which you're probably going to picture something wrong, but no. He just casually like um sat on his knees on your lap, let's say. And with his doll hand, which would be medium sized that in the movie, Chucky, of course his hands are little but let's make him like, you know those American girl dolls? Oh my god, those used to freak me out. I had one that looked exactly like me. That's like over in my Nana's house. Let's say Chucky um, was like an American girl doll size. Kind of like in this picture right here. Um, And then his hand's kind of like a toddler's hand. You know, kind of medium sized. And so he gently like grabbed your chin and made you look at him look kid i know you may love your dad and stuff but in my damn opinion like you did to those girls what do you say we give him a low own punishment no way what do you say we give him his own little personal hell before he goes to hell himself hmm he raised an eyebrow. He started to stutter and said, I I can possibly kill my... Well, if you won't, then I fucking will. This is also from the role play. No, 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 Ch Chucky, Chucky. You grabbed him by his overalls. What? If you're not gonna put that damn bastard in hell like he deserves, then I'm gonna fucking do it. He pulled out a kitchen knife. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, put the knife down. Put the knife down. Well, I ain't putting this damn knife anywhere. If I'm putting it if in, ooh, if I'm putting it somewhere, it would be in your dad's face. Okay, okay. Chucky, calm down. Look, I could think of something like. I can't just let a serial killer doll walk up in this damn house and just kill him. I gotta be part of something. How about this? I go there, and basically my stepmom still lives with him to this day. She always answers the door no matter what because my dad's always busy. So how about I go and answer the door, like knock, knock on the door, and you're in my back. I have a little cup of tea and everything. And once me and my dad are alone in the room, I pull on my bat and knock him down. You do the rest. After, 
I call my stepmom in the room. Basically, the same plan we did with the girls. Alright? I mean, I like your thinking, but couldn't we be a little more gruesome? He raised a brow again, giving you a grin. Alright. Jab him in the leg or something, and I'll knock him out. That's more like it. After, you went to your dad's house. Well, you literally just drove to your dad's house. You knocked on the door, your stepmom answered, and, you, and she said, Oh, well, 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 if it isn't the sweetheart. Oh, we've missed you so much. Chucky thought to himself, Oh, that fake-ass bitch. You thought to yourself, fake ass bitch. <laughs> Same telepathic thoughts, man. She gave you a hug and two smooches on the cheek. Mm -hmm. Come inside. Your father has been talking a lot about you lately. Really? You tilted your head? Yeah, he's been missing you and he's been talking to your siblings. and That actually warmed your heart. And you thought twice before, you know, just knocking him out. But the rage from the past was haunting you and you just couldn't bear to take it anymore. Take a sip of this coffee. You and your dad were in, your off were in his office. And you two were talking. He was probably having a cup of black coffee. And... Oop. Guys, I forgot that I have the TV on and then my like my favorite show just ended right now. Well not that it the series ended, but like the show just, you know, ended because it was its time and then I just went, oop. <laughs> but anyways, you and your dad were in his office and he was probably having a cup of black coffee. Like I am right now because sadly I I forgot to buy milk. <laughs> Or we forgot to buy milk. And you were probably having tea, coffee, or a drink of your choice. DC would be like drink of your choice. Um, or drink preference. And then you two started talking and talking. And then you put your back down next to your leg. And let's say his um, desk was one of those desks that was open in the bottom. And he didn't see what was going on near your leg. Nor his Chucky hopped out, and you put a little, well, you were thinking about putting a sleeping pill in your dad's drink, but since Chucky said he wanted to be a little more gruesome, you didn't. Got jabbed in the leg, your dad kind of screamed, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to do things for guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> and screamed, I guess, and then he looked down at his leg to see a little killer doll. He tried to kick it, and then Chucky jabbed him in the other leg him not being able to get up he just fell down you went over and practically cracked his skull it went pop and then after you got done with that you took out a body bag put everything in that in there even the you know the, the <laughs> let's say there were parts like broken bones and mixed fleshy sticky bloody parts and then you put those in the body bag <laughs> that sounds like FNAF and then you called your stepmom and you two did the same thing you two poured gasoline all over the house before you did you um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I would probably do this but you, you kind of took that moolah because you needed that moolah for bills. <laughs> for, for bills and car bills and yada, yada. Before you set the house on fire, you took a few valuables. That was Chucky's idea. And then Chucky lit a match and threw it down and you two saw that house burn. Afterwards, you two... Took a little photo, like a little <laughs> Polaroid photo, and it was like Chucky jumping in front of the house, and he had like a huge grin on his face, etc. You two got in your car. You two felt great. Chucky was laughing maniacally, but not like because 
he wanted to because he felt good this time. You know how he kind of laughs after he murders. But it was because he felt good. He doesn't really know how to laugh normally, so that's how he laughs. You chuckled and said, nice laugh. He sighed and said, thank you. That's how I laugh every time since I don't, I don't really know how to laugh normally, kid. Let's go home. After that, you deserve a break. He gave you a little nudge on your arm. Yeah, definitely. That took a lot of work. Chucky said out of nowhere, man, that bitch was huge. Huh? He looked over at him. Like, damn, she barely fit in the body bag. What she got, fake ass? You gave him a little glare like the look. Uh-huh, you betcha. And he gave the, little, the look back, uh, the little glare like, are you serious with me right now? You got home, fed fluff ball, and got yourself a drink. You you put on like a big t-shirt and kind of relax in the bathtub. You know how I said he was rolling in the washing machine. This time you gave him like a, you were looking through your attic. Please, like basements and attics are so fucking scary, but I'm sorry. You gotta have one. You were looking through your old stuff and found this like little baby bathtub that you had as a kid and then you cleaned it up and yada yada and play some warm water and then Chucky was in there having his pina colada. I feel like this video is going to be way more funny than romantic. You two and Chucky just did a little cheers and said, ah, well, this is the life of a serial killer. Well, you're not really a serial killer. You're just taking out your anger on the people who really deserved it. Me, I just killed innocent people for no reason. Like me and Andy. Who's Andy? He looked over at him. Well, I would say a good old friend. At first, I wanted to kill him so bad. So bad. We were enemies and stuff like that. He was just a kid. He was, like, younger than you. He was, like, damn 11 years old. Or even younger, really. 8, 9 years old. And I don't know what I wanted to do with that kid so bad that I wanted to kill him. I think that's how the movie goes. That's why it's called Child's Play. And then no matter how many times I tried, I'd never kill him over and over again. Tiff even helped me on doing my, a little ritual and multiplying myself as a doll. There was me, Chucky one, Chucky with no right arm, and then Chucky with short hair, Chucky with like half of his face chunked off. I tried and we tried and Andy was already an adult and I gave up. I never actually got to apologize. Next video will be an Andy apology. <sighs> I feel terrible for that. Imagine how he felt as a kid. Like, why does my toy want to kill me so bad? Then I realized I was wrong. You looked at him like, wow, that is heartless. But then you asked him, who's Tiff? Well, Tiff, short for Tiffany. Tiff's my ex-wife. We had a kid together. But she kind of got mad at me for, you know, kind of being flirty flirt. Like, the hoe I am. And she kind of, yeah, you know how divorce works, right? You, you, you sort of, sort of wheezed because they're dolls. <laughs> Chucky yelled, hey, that ain't funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he said. It's just because it's funny how you're kind of a fleshful doll, and so is Tiff, and probably your child is too. Nah, they're plastic. Your face dropped like, okay? But it's just kind of funny how you have your own little personal life in that little body. You booped his nose. Boop. Hey, not, 
not touching. <laughs> hold on. Did you, hold on. Just, just, this is, this is me talking, not, not Chucky. <laughs> Imagine if he said, no touching. And then he did a little smirk, like that little smug face. And like this one, let me put it up on the screen. For now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm being such a crackhead right now. I hope I can upload this video before anyone goes to school. <laughs> but anyways, you two got dressed. Of course, you made a little towel for Chucky, which had his name on it. Let's say you really liked knitting and sewing. You made Chucky a little sweater, like a little colorful sweater that he has. He thanked you and he, he had a little towel on his head. You had a towel on your head. Fluffball had some, like, a mini, miniature little towel on their head. You guys were having a spa day. You and Chucky were reading magazines and Chucky said, Oh, that one looks good. And you were like, what you looking at? You, you thought he was probably looking at chicks. He was looking at kitchen knives. Like, you know those cooking books that kind of sold like kitchen souvenirs? He was looking at knives. Well, if he looked at a chick magazine, he'd be like, eh, hell no. But then you have him looking at kitchen knives. And he's like, mm-mm, yeah. Oh my god, so many people are gonna download this video somehow or screen record it and just take my text at every time I go out of context. I love people who, that, who do that. Mwah, mwah, kisses to you. Once you were dozing off, Chucky made sure to gently take off the towel off your head, fluffball also, putting them in the laundry basket and laying your head down on the pillow. Even though the blanket was kind of hard to move, he covered you and him up. Even though he was facing the other way, you know how he's small and it would leave a, like, a huge gap between you two. He kind of felt bad and he was slowly getting closer to you, like in a not relationship way, how do I say this? In a friend way, quote unquote, let's say. He felt bad after all you gone through today. You, you needed like at least something. He did see that the expression on your face, it, it looked like you were having a nightmare. You know that you do have expressions in your sleep right before your face just goes numb. It's actually scientifically proven. So he went over and nuzzled your neck once again, like he did yesterday, AKA uh, the part one. You felt Chucky nuzzling your neck and um, gently hugged him. Fluffball joined in and um, nuzzled the other part of your neck. You felt comforted and the expression in your face went numb, or should I say, kind of a little happy, numbish expression. Chucky gave you a small, small, this ain't pedophilia, he did it for your comfort. He gave you a small kiss on your neck. Mm. Sleep well, kiddo. He dozed off. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to try to get to 6K this year. I hope we can. We're already in March. We have, you know, we have like Mar the rest of March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And then, you know, New Year's and then next year, 2024. I hope by 2024 we'll have like at least half 6K subscribers or at least close to 6K. I can't believe we've, we've gone from like 600, literally. Or 800 subscribers to 5k <laughs> thank you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoyed this chucky episode which was taken out of context a lot of times but it was because i was also watching tv because my tv is what is giving me light right now so i can see and not be clumsy and spill my coffee 
But before I waste your guys time any longer, take a sip of this coffee because there's a lot of leftover coffee, holy shit. By the end of my videos, my coffee would usually be over by how much I drink it. But I've talked so much in this video that, yeah. My Instagram, the Squidling server, SoundCloud, and the songs that I use will be in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys do a little vote in the comments if I should do Chucky or TMNT next. Mm -hmm. Love you guys.